All right, so this is the view that you guys usually see when I create sneaker videos for you guys. So this is the view that I see when I'm recording videos. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a sneaker room tour video, and I guess we can do a collection video while we're at it. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Wife and the kids are gone to the store real quick. Quick little look at the kitchen, quick little look at the, the liquor cabinet. And now I'm gonna go upstairs and record a uh, shout out to the train table. Oh yeah, look, I got the, the turntable table set up down here even. Wife let me have that along with another train set. Seriously ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna go record a video right now while I can have some peace and quiet. Hi, Lilla. Hello there. I'm a blonde lady. Alexa, turn on sneaker room. All right, what is going on guys? Hess here, collectivekicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys a video, finally showing you guys more than just the sneaker wall that you can see behind me. I wanted to show you guys the entire sneaker room. It's just one of those things I thought it'd be fun to show you guys. And if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit the, the thumbs up button on the video. Much appreciated if you do that. Also subscribe and hit that notification bell if you guys would like to do so as well. Basically the sneaker wall behind me, um, I built out a couple months ago. Uh, I decided to go ahead and take the other Ikea lac shelves out and then put these new ones up. But the other ones I redistributed through the room that you guys really don't see. So time to take you guys on the tour of, I guess, the rest of the room. All right, so before we get you started on the uh, sneaker room tour and the, I guess, the, the sneaker collection over here and over here and everything else, so just give you guys kind of a look over uh, of the sneaker room. So we have the main display wall and some lights, and then a display shelf over here, a little couch that converts into a bed. So this is kind of our guest room, too, when we have people stay over. We have another display shelf over here, and then this is like resale lane over here more or less i mean a lot of this stuff some of it is just the rest of the stuff i have in boxes some of it's for resale some of it's just not knowing what to do with it so this is kind of the junk area everybody probably has a junk area in their house and then i have the 70 inch tv over here as you can see and my desk over here and i'll get it more into that in a minute and then you can see over here uh, another display rack and a bunch more shoes down here and then uh, a lot of the Adidas Boost, um, uh, Ultra Boost and whatnot over here. And then you have the main display right there. Uh, and that is my desk and chair for my um, my videos right here. So let's go ahead and get into this and uh, show you the, the sneaker wall up close. And we'll get into the, like all of the, the sneakers. All right, so to start off, basically you could see that this is a sneaker wall. Uh, and this is a bunch of Philips Hue light strips that are behind here. So for those that just want to see uh, those are the light strips behind and it kind of illuminates upwards and I have it set on a rainbow setting right now but there's actually a controller right here and it cycles the different light cycles of just a couple presets that I have these are the four presets I have you can do any color combination you want but there's actually 10 individual strips plus extensions on the uh, entire shelf it's kind of expensive because one strip alone is actually $80 plus 25 for the extension so hundred and five dollars per row just to get the lights to light up kind of expensive but i wanted to try out the more premium version of the cheaper ones that i've tried in the past so tour down you could see there's a bunch of different air max sneakers on the very top row up here a lot of ogs including some that have not been uh, retro like those kookinis and then some sample air maxes then you have og foams and some pippins uh, Gary Payton's and Jason Kidd's and Pippin's and Barclays, lots of uh, OG stuff up here and also retros, some Pippin's. This is a pair that probably nobody has. This is actually the Nike Air Prevail. Check out the bottoms of those things, super rad. Uh, but you used to actually rock those way, way, way back in the day. And I got some OG uh, foam posits here as well as some other gems, just a lot of OG stuff. And even some uh, falling apart Barclays right here. Love those from back in the day. Pippin, some of my grails right there. And some just more random pairs, Nike Air Forces right here that are crumbling. As you work your way down, you can see here is a bunch of Nike basketball stuff. We have Elijah Diggins foams. This is one of those retros that dropped the other year. These are wild. 
Carol Baskin style right here. We have those uh, 2K LeBrons. I actually earned multiple pairs of those. And some Nike IDs. And my friend gifted me a pair of these Kobe's right here back in the day. More Nike IDs here with the 10s and 11s. These actually never released. These are the Kyrie 2s that I got from the outlets for like $70 or something like that. Crazy. Northern Light foams. Then we got some Mag uh, Adapts here. Um, Big Bangs. And then the OG 20th year anniversary joints right here. Uh, the Royals. Galaxy foams. Chrome posits. Copper foam posit samples from back in the day. Uh, which are basically the same as the retail pair. These ones are crazy. Nike ID'd these ones. I uh, love these uh, LeBrons here. And then some King's Crown LeBrons right there. Moving your way down, you could see we have some Travis Scott joints. And then also uh, one of my favorites, actually. A lot of people hating on those. I love that pair right there. The Off-Whites. Court Purples, Royals. Got the Dornbecker ones. And then lots of other Air Jordan ones, as you could see here. Some of them are more recent. Some of them are not. And then we have these, probably one of the best pairs, I think, that nobody really talks about too much, but the Dave White ones, absolutely love those. And some more ones up here. More Jordans on the next two rows. We have lots of Jordans. These are actually samples as well. Pretty rad. And actually, these are samples too, which is crazy. Shout out to Joe Bostic for turning me on to these. Tinker um, Alphas, those things are crazy too. Love those. Speaking of Tinker, Justin Timberlake joints. And I did a lace swap on these just for fun. You can see what the pink lace is. I actually like them like that. This is the one that I talked about in the complex uh, sneaker battle. This is a 23 print uh, CP3s. These ones are crazy samples as well. And uh, a fun one to have. Another one I had to pay resale for, but I really love this one. Same as this one. More DBs, more DBs. These are actually samples as well. Reflective. Uh, five lap threes, I believe these ones are, or three lap fives. I think five lap threes. I can't remember which ones are which, honestly. Cool grays, snake skins, cause, and then DB fives right here on the end. Which actually I have three pairs of these, but the other two pairs are tucked away up there. I'll get into the rest of this um, sneaker room here in just a minute, but let's go ahead and finish the rows. Moving our way down, we have some uh, Dornbecker 15s some cinder air jordan 14s look at how old these things are super beat and we have some wings 12s dornbecker 9s 14s this is actually a sample pair of true blue threes you can see the uh the midsole is different i showed this recently in a different video and a uh, pretty cool sample pair with some scribble right there on the side but that's the only thing different really is that on the side uh, another Dornbecker 6, Dornbecker 2, Dornbecker 4, Tokyo 5. This is kind of the one that everybody like loves to see. They're, look at that dirty yellow toe. I need to clean these things. Uh, but this is the yellow toe sample version. And as I always point out, the inverted 23 right there. Um, it always trips somebody up in the comment section, not realizing that was a 23. And uh, But yeah, those things are special right here, obviously. Really special. And then uh, we have some Fear 3. Shout out to Asian Joe for helping me out with this one a long time ago. Super nice quality uh, on these. I had the whole Fear set back in the day, and this is the only one that I kept out of the three. We have the OSU Oregon State Beaver uh, 9s right here, the PEs. This is a fun one for me. Paid a lot for it, but still a decent price considering uh, what they are. I paid, like, I think, $750 or $800 or something like that for those, um, which is a lot for me because I usually don't pay that much for, for sneakers. We have the DB3s here, icy bottoms, and uh, coal all over the upper. Really dope pair right here. And then if you, uh, maybe some people didn't know, but there's spaghetti on one. Oh, there it is. Spaghetti on one, and this one's a chocolate bar on the other one. Kind of a cool little hidden detail. Uh, one of my favorites, honestly, uh, this is uh, the 14s, the cherry colorway. This one's like the classic, super, super dope. I know it retroed recently, but still a really great shoe. Some fours, uh, some bread fours, and then the Tinker threes here. And then um, we have the uh, the Crystal joints right here, the Dornbecker 12s. Moving on down, we have a Nike SB line right here. And then we have some Nike Air, Nike Air, and some Yeezys and miscellaneous on the bottom. But this is actually surprising. These are selling for over two or $300 now. And I'm like, what the heck? I got them for 90 bucks uh, from a skate shop in Florida. Shout out to you guys that actually looked out for me because I was trying to find them when they dropped and I really liked that one. This one is a crazy, I think this was, I can't even remember the name of these, the salt stains or something like that. 
uh, super, super dope upper on these. Love those. Got both pairs of the Concepts Dunks here. And then we have, this is not an SB, but I got the uh, the DJ AM uh, Nike Dunks here. Love this shoe, uh, RIP AM. We have some Pigeon Dunks here. And then we have the Oompa Loompas that I got from Urban Necessities last time I went down there. Dropped uh, $1,000 or so. And this is one of the two pairs I got. The other pair was uh, these guys right here. This is one of the last like good pickups I got from Nike Sneakers. I can't believe I hit on a pair of these, but got the dunks here and then i do have a staples pigeon uh, dunks also in the panda joints here but i actually have two different versions so this is the the one that i got from index pdx and then the week i believe after i got these i got a special box from jeff staple himself signed and everything crazy i'll show you guys that the box is actually up over here um and the sneakers are in that box over there but uh but i'll pull them out for the video and then we have the, the Diamond Jones. This is another one that I wanted to pay resale on. I just really liked this one. I know a lot of people are like, well, why? But, you know, I had the Tiffany's back in the day. I actually, um, I, didn't, I wouldn't say gifted, but I gave uh, Sneakerhead in the Bay a really, really solid price on the Tiffany Dunk Lows. Because they weren't my size. They were 10 and a half when I got them, the original ones. Uh, but this is the ones I got now. I don't have any of the other fancy ones. I'm not, I don't even have the highs, but it is what it is. Stewie Dunks, shout out to, to Max Lund. Man, I still love these things. One of the best... Uh, custom nike sbs that i've seen just he murdered this so so it's just ridiculously good um and then i have my little stewie figurine right here that he gave me as well um another one i think an, another is this from asian joe this one was uh uh the the Bauhaus dunks in these ones are crazy man the super shaggy um nappy suede on it it's crazy these are some samples i got actually these are crazy too um i've never seen these they have other shoes in this print but not the dunks and so this one's kind of a special one a comfort dunk as you can see from the bottom but uh super dope like hawaiian flower print on there and then also another concepts dunk and this is another sample i actually thrifted these for like 20 bucks they are like a nylon upper i don't even know how to describe it super wrinkling terrible looking but i kept a hold of these because i was like you know what i love my dunks 20 bucks i paid for those not bad i don't know what they're worth i don't i don't really care but uh then we have these crazy premium plush joints here the luxes and these are dunk luxes leather lined lunar lawn insoles super heavy super butter love these as well one of my favorite uh joints right there and then we have some Puss Head 2s here. I don't have the 1s anymore, but I had I have the 2s. I love the color schemes of these. So crazy. Acid wash looking things. I uh, love those. Air Maxes. Next up, we have some 97s, some Off-Whites, and some of the Retro Deluxes. I have the OGs up there, for those that are wondering. Those are the Retros. This is the Nike ID uh, Levi's joint that I did. I actually really like these two. Um, and then we have some Stash um spiridons and i got these from the outlet for crazy cheap such a great great deal love this shoe and classics right here as well i've seen the prices are starting to go up on these again the tuned airs but i mean this is a classic og colorway i still didn't get the purple one but i i probably should try to scoop it up undercover sakai dunk um i was gonna say dunks but they're, they're dunk blazers uh these things are crazy too Dornbecker, uh, Pegasus 2s. These things are super rad as well. I love those. And uh, we have the Sakai's that I thrashed, but still got them. If you saw that Resuminator video, they made me do it. I, I had to thrash the shoes and then send them in for them to clean them up, but I thrashed them pretty good. These are actually samples as well. Uh, Air Max 95s. I'm waiting on the, the lime green, or the, the neon green ones. I love these ones too. These are one of my favorites for this, uh, this colorway of the uh, pluses. Shout out to Lena, the homie. She uh, she actually gifted me this pair, which is crazy. But this is the off-white blazers. And actually, I gifted her some zebras at the time. And they were, I think the zebras actually were more expensive than those. And now these have skyrocketed. So it's crazy. But I, I wear those ones. I love uh, that that model specifically. We got the DB95s. And then we have the Batman uh, joints right here. Those ones are crazy too. 95 DBs. And then we have the Soul 95 the on air collection shout out to lena again she actually looked out for me on this pair uh, also uh more stuff i know a lot of people are waiting for a retro of these later this year this is like a presto um this is like a special one that they got from the dornbecker collection outlet joints tinkers ones this is one that i did like a tiger camo custom on it i just took a marker basically to it i don't know i liked it then we have these love the colorways of this and then the volts of the 90s as well 
Havens. This is a crazy one too. This is like a Paris colorway. I love this one too. These things didn't get enough love, man, but I love the pluses. And then I switched it up recently. I got some uh, 4D technology stuff down here. So this is actually one that I, I made. I took the liner out and then sewed in the liner and changed the tongue on these. So it was a Stella McCartney, but now it's not. More Futurecraft 4D midsoles. And then this is one I blacked out too. You can see it's a little bit faded there in the neon spots where the, the stitching is. I got to redo those ones. But for the most part, all the dye and stuff at least took on the midsole. We have the Yeezys and V2s, 700s, 700s, Turtle Doves, Originals, Zebras with the Lace Swap, 380 Aliens, and so on and so on. Made like a Grinch vibe there. The only one that's not like Yeezy on here, the frail joints right there. But I love these ones too. This is one of my favorites. And then I did a dip dye of a pair of fives there. And then just randomness on the bottom. Some uh, recent customs I did. More customs. Classics. And these are kind of interesting. Nobody really has these samples. Nobody probably wants them. But they're kind of fresh, man. Air Force One, Air Jordan 3, Olympic colorway. Dunk, Luxes. Super nice. Actually, I don't even know if these are the, the Fachetta Tan. I don't know if they're called uh, Luxes, but really nice quality. We have these off-white uh, van knockoff things that are like $400. It's crazy. Zigtex, Reebok. I actually really love these as well. Air Force One, 25-year anniversary. This model was really, really comfortable back then. Got some fogs. Got some really, really nice quality leather on these. Uh, this is the Nike Lab Air Force One Mids. And then this is something a little bit different. Hits a little different with that strap removed right there. Um, I like the way these look like this, but a lot of people were pissed when I cut these. And then we have some vandals down here as well. Some John Elliott vandals and some mochas. Anyways, that's the main display. As you can see, there's quite a few pairs of shoes that we covered, 170 something pairs. Then you move over here, we have some Ultra Boost. Shout out to my buddy Mikey. Uh, he actually made these dunks for me years and years and years ago. And you could see uh, just lots of just random Ultra Boosts, some customs. Like these ones are customs that I did, like Parlay for the Ocean. I did a dye like the ocean. IDs and some Galaxy prints. Just lots and lots of randomness here. Two dip dyed customs I did from the 350s, a chocolate in a black colorway. Lillard joints, Lillard IDs I did. Some questions, the Reeboks on this wall, that's pretty much it, the rest are Adidas. I have more of this, I have the whole pack, but they're sitting in boxes right now on the other side of the room. The OGs, and I guess that's not Adidas pair right there, that's a Saucony Ramen right there. Speaking of Saucony though, I got some more down here. These are some of the favorites that I kept in my collection. I still have other ones, these are just the ones that I have out. And then just more randomness on the floor, we have Prestos, we have Trunners. Prestos, shout out to Paul for the Air Max 90s right down here. Those are the vinyl ones and randomness down here. Look what I'm wearing on feet now, nothing. Lots of comfort sneakers for my comfort videos and stuff that you guys have been seeing. So this is my other display wall that I have next to my desk. And you can see it has some IDs on it. Um, and this is the LeBron 10, 11, 12 IDs. Air Max Zero IDs. These are actually New Balance 997 IDs that I did, I believe. Are they 997s or not? Yeah, 998s. There's another pair of 998s that I got. I customized them to be black and orange instead of blue and orange. Kobe IDs. These are the Andy Grass joints right here. And actually he signed those ones. Um, this is uh, the Kyrie 2s. And the more Kobe's right here, the IDs that I did, the mag looking ones, and then glow in the dark. Custom I did right here. And once. Chicago, the ones the, the uh, black toe, then you can see custom. This is actually a custom one I did of the lasers. As you can see, that was my first custom actually I ever did. And that was my chocolate bread dunks, I called them, because it was like the bread inspired look with the chocolate color blocking. And that was my DJ Hess, like one that I made, just a random dunk with this interesting material. My very first Nike ID right here, this is actually uh, just a crazy one. It came in a different box back then. It was super fun. It was supposed to be like a Neapolitan sort of vibe to it. And then random Kyries down here. More Kyrie IDs. Superman inspired one or basically the DB6 and Galaxy. Then we have the Mag Kyrie. And then we also have a Mega Man Kyrie. This one's crazy. Dexter Morgan. KDs. And then my customs right down here. The Monarch uh, Waves. Kill Bill inspired KDs, undefeated inspired uh, Hirachis, championship ring inspired Kyries, 
LeBron's. This is a croc print, Air Max 90 infrared look. An Oregon State inspired colorway of the uh, the trainers. Random pair of Futura uh, Converse right here. Some Homer Simpson joints right here, some Vans I made. And then a sunset theme of, it's supposed to be on a plan of the uh, Soul Collector uh, joints right down there. So that is kind of like my creation wall, I guess, of just random stuff I've designed. Some of it's not. I need to change some of it up, but uh, you know, it's kind of a work in progress. The boxes up here are all just extras that I have, some extra DB5s and like just random stuff over here. Uh, but I also do have in this one, the Panda joints. So for those that wanted to see this, this was a gift from Jeff Staple himself. Really dope. Friends and family box, I think, or I don't know if they sold these or what, but it was crazy. Wrote my name and uh, this is the ones that he sent over. The difference on these, as you can see, it has the panda on the inside right there. The other pair that I have doesn't have that. Uh, but this is super crazy, man. Um, yeah, it was just super random to have them send them over and just super thankful. And so I just ha I have this one still in the box uh, for here. But I probably should put it in display uh, down in the display wall. So maybe I'll do that. A really, really special package right here. Anyways, as you work your way over to the desk, we have the E-Win desk right here, as you can see. This was actually a gift from them. They sent me that in. The, uh, the awesome gaming chair. So kind of a rad little setup right here for myself. I needed a gaming desk and I needed a chair. So like what better way to do it than have this company reach out to me. Uh, I'll link them in the description if you guys are interested, but really, really comfy plush quilted chair, as you can see with ergonomic pillows and everything, super comfortable. And then the, the desk is pretty rad too, because it lights up and uh, you can see it has a little bit of glow on it. And then you can change the patterns here with this button, as you can see. So that's kind of rad. I mean, it does a bunch of different effects. I have an LG monitor and just my Xbox down here. And uh, this is like a microphone for my recording and spare lens over here and batteries. Printer, really professionally set up over here. So just above all of that stuff, you could see the 70 inch TV, uh, which is a nice little addition to the sneaker room. Honestly, like you'd think it would be a little bit too big, but when you're sitting back here, the room's pretty long actually. So it's, it's actually a pretty good uh, distance and the kids can watch shows over here while I'm like working on taking pictures or b-roll or something like that over here uh, but it's nice to be able to have just the tv in the room and I actually have a surround sound as well or just a sound bar underneath it down there and then actually I'll show you this in a second but I have the subwoofer down here so I just took literally the entire sound system from downstairs and brought it upstairs because I got a whole new setup downstairs uh, so I could just basically use one controller instead of three uh, but that is that TV. And then this is all just the extra stuff that I have sitting in the room. So not necessarily stuff for sale. Some of it is, some of it is not. It's just extra stuff that I can't fit on my walls or on the floors. And honestly, it's just, it gets a little hectic in here because there's just too many uh, places for me to be able to put shoes. And then I'm sort of like half organized. It, it makes it really difficult. So I'm trying to figure out the rest. But as for now, this is just all storage stuff uh, that I have in the back of the room that nobody gets to see, luckily. Um, and then the last display wall that I have over here, my Technique 1200 turntable case up there. And then you can see my uh, my Hess Kicks uh, Technique 1200 inspired Saucony grid 9000s that I designed at Saucony headquarters years ago. I love those men. And that is the sample pair in there. Just some little shoes from Harrison when he was little. And then some other random gems. So, so these ones are super crazy, 180 pumps, um, really rare. You don't see them in that condition anymore. And then this is an Atmos joints right here. Just random Atmos pairs that I have. Uh, that uh, didn't really fit in the color scheme of the, the sneaker wall. So I kind of just put them over here. We have the stash sign box right here with the uh, Air Force Ones in the wife size. And that is one that was pretty rad. Got that when I went to Complex Con. And then we got Lillard's signed um, rookie joints right here. This is before he had a signature series. We have the Panda Pigeon. That's the closest I'll get, I guess, to the, the New York joints right there. A couple pairs from Max Lund, as you can see right here. He's the one that did the uh, the Stewie joints. When we went to Saucony headquarters to design our shoes, they gifted us those pairs right there, which are pretty rad. My friend Cam actually did these Dunk Luxes in the white colorway with that crazy outline look. Stranger Things pair that I did that had over a million views on it now. And then just an another random pair of off-whites that I was planning on customizing, I just haven't done yet. So nothing really crazy and no rhyme or reason. Some of the custom stuff needs to be rearranged but for the sake of the video i just wanted to show you guys all of that and then there's the uh the couch again oh yeah the last wall so i'll hurry through this one but 
random cause stuff and figurines. I haven't taken them out of the packages or anything like that up there, but got a couple of different cause ones. The Simpsons inspired KDs right here and the Simpsons Lego house. Then there's a Thanos inspired joints right here. The uh, LeBron 13s that I absolutely love. Then I have a masterpiece Ghostbusters Optimus Prime, which is pretty crazy from Comic-Con. I think that was a Comic-Con exclusive last year. I also have this crazy masterpiece one there as well as the OG right behind it in another version as well. Some other randomness that I had. Honestly, I had other sneakers that were themed after a lot of these guys. That's why I uh, had all of the figures. And then we had some OG stuff down here. So the threes and then the fours and fives and the elevens. I just put them over here since I didn't really have anywhere else to put them. I have the threes on the other wall as well. Then the Murakami board and then the umbrella as well. Uh, in the middle then i also have a pair of nunchucks here because somebody wanted me to open a box with a pair of nunchucks and i said sure but i never actually did that yet but yeah i have them anyways that is the last wall over here the dyson vacuum goes there but i'm getting a battery replaced in it right now and then you can see i kind of have a seamless lighting approach right here i put this stuff up here so i can go around and have power strips on this side and then this one also comes across and then down in the power. But I can have Alexa turn off the lights and stuff, which is nice because then I can run in the room, record, and then run out. And then uh, Alexa will just turn off everything, which is cool. So for those that want to see the camera set up, this is a camera. I have the Canon 80D, the Rode uh, mic here. And then I have a Sigma lens here, the 1835. This is the main one I shoot with. Edelkrone um, slider that I never use just because I'm too lazy to do B-roll for the most part. Manfrotto. Uh, tripod and then also the Manfrotto uh, swivel here. I also have this secondary device here. This is just a nice little uh, monopod that I never use as well. I'm terrible at this stuff. And then I actually put my microphone on here and uh, use that for my videos because that is how I plug it in to the camera. So the last detail I wanted to show you guys in the sneaker room is this table uh, desk sort of thing that I have here. This thing is like a live edge blue resin desk that I got done from a place called Higgin Fabrications. And it was really expensive. I think it was upwards of $2,500 or something like that for the desk and for the um, chair. And it's a really nice looking chair. I mean, look at this thing, blue resin. And I don't know, the guy does really good work. He also does all of the fabrications for the metal as well. So you can see my butterfly knife is right here. But the frame is really cool on this desk. And I thought, you know, this is a really nice little statement piece for the room for myself. And also our small kitchen table downstairs is the same sort of thing, but it's a round version of this. Uh, I, I absolutely love his work though. It looked really cool and was lots of fun to be able to get. So I have a lot of pictures and stuff with this table on the backdrop. And it's just something I'm proud of. It's a fun little piece that um, I was able to buy for the, the sneaker room. And I figured I'd share it with you guys. So question for you guys though, leave a comment in the comment section. How many pairs of sneakers do I have out on display? Um, yeah, see if you can calculate it. There's 10, 11 rows back there. And I think 11 there and however many there. Then there's a couple here. And then a couple more over here. So leave a comment. How many pairs of sneakers do I have out on display? I'm curious if you guys will get the number right. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot. I'll say there's over 200 for sure. Um, the main wall holds uh, quite a bit, 170 something, I think. So yeah, anyways, I think that is it for the sneaker tour. As you can see again, that is your guys' view. But when I'm sitting back here, this is, uh, this is my view when I'm uh, recording videos for you guys. So hopefully you guys like this video and it was somewhat informative to you guys to see the rest of the, uh, the sneaker room. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a look at the, uh, the sneaker room and we will hopefully see you guys for some more content soon. If you guys did like this video, it was kind of fun for me to do. It definitely took a lot of actual effort for me to, uh, clean up the floor. Uh, and uh, actually move things around because it's just been a disaster in here. So again, if you like the video, please drop a like on the video. Have a good rest of the day though, and we'll see you guys for some more sneaker content very soon. Peace guys.